Hey guys, Sean Bucci, surplusfundsriches.net. One of the things that we get from folks, we tend to avoid working um, where the claimants have died. I mean, there's some obvious reasons, right? They can't sign. But working with heirs can be extremely difficult. The only program we have where we actually allow folks to partner with us and send in files where it's an airship situation is Florida. And even then, we need to know who the executor is. Down there, it's called the personal representative or have a copy of the will, recorded will. The reason for all that is in most instances, you have to open an estate or a probate file first to prove heirship or get recorded who the heirs are before moving on. Not in every case, but in the vast majority. The other issue that we run into with that is people will say, hey, I got a obituary and it shows who the heirs are. This is no problem. Guys, families aren't perfect. This isn't the Waltons, okay? When you see an obituary, they might have left out the brother they didn't like too much, okay? <laughs> Plus, you don't even know who wrote the obit. It could have been a friend that was just completely relying on their memory. It could have been anyone that wrote that obituary and turned it in, okay? There may not be any actual heirs involved. Now, is the obituary a good starting point for you to try to reach out and find people if you choose to work deceased claimants? Absolutely, it's a good starting point. You're still gonna have to make sure that everything in there was complete. I cannot tell you how many times heirs leave out the brother they don't like. Be careful about relying upon obituaries because I'll tell you something, the court isn't going to. 